Hello and welcome. I'm Jordan Brugg from the firm Spencer Stewart, and I'm here today with my friend Ulf Henriksen, the Chief Executive Officer of Dematic Company. Dematic has a long lineage that dates back to 1819 with the invention of the first steam-powered crane. The company later invented the world's uh, first mobile conveyor belt, and over the next two centuries evolved into what many would consider to be the leading uh, material handling and logistics company with over 60 locations in 27 some odd mm. countries. We're very pleased to have an opportunity to hear a little bit more about what the next century looks like for Dematic, but given the accelerated rate of transformation that you've been leading, it might be more appropriate to start off by just focusing on what what's in store for Dematic over the next decade, let alone the next, the next century. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you about Dematic and uh, our history, but more importantly, your question about the future. Uh, not long ago, Dematic in our peer group, we were making cranes and conveyors, uh, delivering to a manufacturing industry to needed to be more efficient. Over the last 10 years, you've seen smartphone tablets. Uh, our kids are getting very sophisticated in what they uh, want to do and how they want to do things. This change is worldwide. It happened right underneath our feet. If we can fulfill within one hour and we know where you are and have the flexibility of information technology to the physical goods, we can give it to you when you want it with the flexibility you need it. There's a, a popular phrase, the Internet of, of Things, which mm -hmm. is quickly become por part of corporate lexicon. Is that, is that what you're describing? Is this, is this the Internet of Things at work? Yeah, a big part of it. Uh, the Internet of Things, so if you look at products uh, or things talking to each other, enabling the Internet and cloud to talk to each other, they think now around 5 billion things are talking to each other, which is up 30% from last year. And in five years' time, it's going to be 25 billion things talking to each other. So that enormous amount of revolution of connectivity and what it means is, as I talked to you about, the awareness of where you are so you can get the package delivered where you are and the flexibility around, is about things communicating where things are occurring. But if things also in the home can start communicating with each other, like I said, the, the security where you show some, the thermostat adjusts its, its temperature, uh, or if you see consumption in your home in a certain way that leads to an automatic buying behavior, so things become more utility by and therefore free up your time or doing those mundane tasks. And of course, that, that is the Internet of Things. It, it is about products connecting with each other that makes your life easy. And automation facilitates that. When you entered the business in the early part of April 2013, was the company aware of where it was sitting within the ecosystem? And maybe we could just spend a moment talking about your transition into the company and leading a business where you're at this epicenter of changing customer demands, changing market demands, and trying to figure out how Dematic could leverage its market position to, to really uh, use those industry shifts and consumer shifts to your advantage. The organization was ready to meet what the customer wanted. We did struggle in some parts, but very open-minded to respond to it. However, taking it all together, what does this mean? And what does it mean to put yourself out and see this change, start articulating what's happened over the next five, ten years? How warehouse operation is changing? How is the operator in the warehouse changing? How, how is the store going to look like? Where, how the whole supply chain from manufacturing, whole value chain up, to the consumer is changing, how it's going to impact the transportation companies. One thing that was important to me in the context of leadership is you have to increase your investment, investment in technology. So we doubled our R&D expenditure. We, uh, we heavily emphasized on software. We got a good management team out of the BlackBerry uh, R&D organization. So very strong software capability into an industry where I see the evolution and also start to change with the journey of the customer because our customers are seeking their solutions too. What is the response to all the change? They don't have the truth, but they, they, they make an investment because they have to follow with it and, and seeking to take a lead uh, as well for some of them. Dematic is ready for that change.